Hey, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you guys. I hope you guys had a blessed Christmas. I hope you fellowship with your families, got everything that you wanted up under your tree, man. I hope you guys took some time to relax, feed your bellies, and all that great stuff, man. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Without Jesus Christ being born, hey, your boy wouldn't be here today doing what he's doing. So I'm definitely blessed, had a great Christmas. But as we enter into this last week of 2022, we got some heat dropping. Let's see what your boy is feeling. Let's go. So before we get off in this content, man, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. I appreciate that. Head over to IG, follow your boy at Kicknology on IG and Kicknology Keeks. And we're going to keep this thing moving. Now, the way that I normally do this, I don't be on my phone that much looking at the sneakers of upcoming releases. But I go on sneakers app. You know, they, they tend to upload different upcoming releases and all that good stuff. So all we're going to do is we're going to go through the sneakers app. And I'm going to tell you guys what I'm feeling, what I'm not feeling, my thoughts and opinions. If I'm going to try to cop something. And we're going to see how we're going to finish out 2022. All right, so starting off, as you guys can see on the screen, we do have the Big Kids Air Jordan 4 French Blue. Now, this is a sneaker that gives me, like, kids vibes. And I understand why it's a big kid sneaker, but um, I remember it was, like, the Wild Thing, Jordan 4s or something like that. Them big kids, and, and, like, a, a pair of 13s that was kid sizes, them things did numbers on the resale market. So I'm assuming that the 4s are on point right now. This is going to do the same thing. I'm not feeling this sneaker. Um, it's a lot going on. I do feel like it's specifically for kids, but... Um, I don't know how it's going to do, but for me, this is not a sneaker that I feel like anyone should go after. The retail is $150. It doesn't drop until the 7th of January, but as you guys can see, um, not a bad sneaker by for a kid. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a lot going on for me. So moving right along, we got the Air Jordan 7 Olives. These kind of give me the powder. Pata 7 vibes, if, that's, if I'm not mistaken, $210. These also drop on a 7. Y'all don't feel 7s like that. So I don't think this is a sneaker that many people going to go for. This might be another 7 that sits. Um, not a bad sneaker, man. The 7s are actually dope. But 210, I, I mean, I could, co I could cop it under retail if I'm not mistaken. It kind of gives me that, that African tribe vibe. You feel me? Um, moving right along, we have the Florida AM and LeBron 7s. Nah, I'm gonna I'm miss me on those. These are dropping on the 7th as well. A lot of heat dropping on the 7th, uh, 200 bucks. Um, just got the Florida AML colors, got the new buck suede on the tongue, uh, I mean, on the toe box. So, um, if you are feeling this, you know, LeBron 7 is one of the classic silhouettes for the LeBron. So, um, yeah, man, $200. And then this shoe actually is still sitting. I mean, I don't know what sizes are still available, but, um, as you guys can see, this black and university blue kind of give me that CP3 bob that dropped a while ago without the yellow on the bottom. Um, this is going to be an outlet bound sneaker. You'll be able to use discounts, rewards, and stuff like that. If you walk into the store, I'm pretty sure it's sitting there. So if you're interested in this sneaker, just go to the mall. I'm pretty sure you can cop this thing. It's not an ugly shoe. It's just one of those shoes that they're dropping too much. So a lot of stuff is starting to sit now. Um, the Air Jordan 7 Cardinals are still sitting again you guys do not mess with seven so if you are interested in this shoe um discounts rewards points stuff like that like hit outlets i'm pretty sure this shoe is gonna be sitting and then we got the banger man i think uh december 30th is when this drops yes yeah, 12 30 um be one of the last shoes of the year the air jordan 2 chicago um, I've been watching a lot of videos and stuff like that and if I'm not mistaken the last time I bought a two it kind of red the toe box is kind of narrow so I would say go a half a size up on these or a true to size if you like that snug fit but for me it's going to be a half a size up on these things but as you guys can see this is OG you know what I'm saying this is going to be one of those shoes that um, even if you don't like twos a lot of people are going to be adding this sneaker to their collection just to have it Nike branding on the inside as you guys can see right there um just a classic classic sneaker you know what i'm saying so you do have it in the men sizes and then you have it in the grade school and women's sizes as well so i think it's going to be a lot of pairs out there i think this shoe will sell out especially in the man sizes women might sit and grade school might sit but i don't know how it's going to do resale i i I just don't know because it's a two and for some reason people don't like twos even the off-white twos union twos like not many people 
Um, they just, they just, they didn't do the numbers that people thought they were gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But classic sneaker. But as we continue on, we have a couple of shoes that still sitting. This, this Air Jordan One medium gray. I thought my daughter wanted these, but then when she actually looked at it, she didn't like the the, the African booty pony hair on it or whatever. So this shoe is sitting everywhere, finish line, Foot Locker, stuff like that. Um, I don't know what the concept was as far as the fur on it, but. I mean, I feel like they messed this shoe up. Kind of got the shadow vibes, and I just felt like that fur on it just didn't do... It didn't do right by the sneaky. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, if you're still interested in those, those are sitting. But pretty much, that is it, man. As I continue on here, um, I didn't go for the um, off-whites, either one of these. But they're doing okay resale. Um, and that is all that I really want to discuss on the sneakers app. But you guys let me know down in the comment section what sneaker do you have to have to close out 2022? Is it going to be a reach back and you're going to pay resale for something? Or is it going to be one of the sneakers that I just showed on the screen? Let me know below. Again, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Rock what you like, not what's hype. Wash them hands, man. And remember, these shoes behind me, everything we talk about, just bait. Or wait for me to share my faith. You guys be blessed. I'm going to catch y'all next video. Peace. I'm off the beat, but right now I'm on the beat, known to be, brother more, spitting for the king, you can kick it with my team, and kick it.